Hello, I'm Brian Spears, co-founder and CEO of New Age Meats, and I'd like to introduce you to Jessie. This photo is courtesy of the farm where she lives in Marin, just north of the city, across the Golden Gate Bridge. In mid-July, we met Jessie, and we took a little biopsy from her. She ran off into the farmyard, and we ran back to our labs at IndieBio, where we took her cells and we began to multiply them. And they multiplied, and they multiplied, and they multiplied and multiplied, until we had enough that we induced them to muscle and fat, and then put them together to create pork sausage. These are not stock photos. These are our pork sausages. We fed them to 40 people. Let's see what they said. A toast to the future of food, to you, thank you for coming. Woo! Cheers. I just tasted the first ever clean pork and clean fat mixture uh, produced, and it was great. I was really excited about the fat component as well. It's not just kind of like this protein base, it has that flavor profile with the fat, which was perfect. We can save on costs of production, we can save on resources, and we can make meat that is safer, that is tastier, while not incurring the harm on the animals. Wow, you have the actual pork taste, and, and that's something that I, I wasn't sure if I could expect. Thank you. Business Insider was there, and they said the sausage was smoky, savory, and tasted like breakfast. It tasted like meat. Then again, it is meat. I wasn't sure I would have been able to tell the difference between this pork sausage and any other. So this wasn't last weekend. This was almost two months ago, halfway through our time at IndieBio. How do we move so quickly? Because we were designed to. I'm an engineer with 12 years of industry experience in research and industrial automation. From day one, we have designed our company and our platform around automation and data science. This means we take proprietary bioreactors and integrated hardware, which creates a consistent stream of data flowing into our custom databases. From there, we apply computational biology to create smart experimental design. And then we create good, but not just good, the best protocols for efficiency and cost reduction. We've been prototyping the system over the past four months. Let's see what we've accomplished. First, fetal bovine serum, or FBS, is one of the major components in cell culture media. But FBS is expensive, varies in consistency from batch to batch, and can't possibly scale to meet a growing and hungry planet. Removing FBS is one of the holy grails of our industry. We have removed FBS from our stem cell and our fat cell culture media. On your left, you see stem cells without FBS. On the upper right, you see fat cells with FBS, and then below them, fat cells without FBS. We've tested them. They're just as healthy, and they're just as tasty. So we're two out of three. We're removing the FBS from our muscle cells now, which means in a few short months, we'll have a fully FBS-free media formulation. Next, in our proprietary bioreactors, we're able to grow 10 times more cells than the industry standard. That means in our cultivators at scale, we'll be able to grow 10 times more meat. That's a major differentiator to create cost efficiencies across the board and compete with existing animal products. And finally, through these and other measures, we've dropped the cost of our sausages by over an order of magnitude during IndieBio, and we're well on our way to dropping it to meet tremendous consumer demand. Now, these pork sausages were made with Jesse's pork cell lines. But sausage isn't just pork. It's also beef and chicken and lamb. Which is why, from the beginning, we designed our system to be able to re-optimize across different animal cell lines. Because different people like different kinds of meat. And we will serve them the delicious meat they want in an amazing experience. That's why we held our tasting in a brewery with other products of food technology, namely beer and bread. Think about it. Beer is made in a giant reactor with steel and gauges and piping and rivets. Similarly, 
bread is a result of a fermentation reaction. So our customer's first experience with New Age pork sausages will be in a brew pub, where beer, bread, and sausage share a kinship, not just in the method of production, but also on the palate. We'll invite customers in. They'll tour the facility. They'll walk between the reactors. They'll see beer being made on one side, pork on the other, in the same kind of vessel. They'll literally see how the sausage is made. When consumers buy our pork products, they also buy into the solutions to big problems. Consumers of today care. They care about the environment, human health, animal welfare. In fact, Oklahoma State University earlier this year conducted a survey. 90% of the survey respondents ate meat. 47% of them want to ban slaughterhouses. Think about that. People don't want slaughter, they want meat. We make slaughter-free meat. My co-founder, Andre Nakula, is a PhD in molecular biology from Oxford, with six years of stem cell and tissue engineering experience. I'm a chemical engineer, and for eight years, I was a co-founder and I ran a company named SixClear. There, we made research labs in production environments faster and better for customers like NASA, Sandia National Labs, Cisco, and GE Healthcare. Our advisors are amazing. Kevin Hickok is the former director of cellular agriculture at Just, or Hampton Creek. He's seen firsthand the pipeline from R&D through scaling to cell-based meat product. Matt Tom is employee number eight at Impossible Foods. He's helping us with our product development and go-to-market. And Larry Spears, former, director, former deputy director at the FDA, helping us with our regulatory pathway. We're raising $3 million to fully implement our automation and data science platform to drop the cost of our product and to pave the way for that brew pub experience and first revenue in two years. After six months of scaling, we will be delivering new age pork products to high-end restaurants. We opened up our seed round a few days ago. We'll be closing it next week. If you're interested, please come speak with us today. We invite you to join us to create a new age for meat. Thank you.